Time now for Restoring the Soul of Healthcare from the Help Care Clinic in Austin. And we say good morning to Dr. David Strobel and Lee AC from the Help Care Clinic. Good morning. Good morning, John. Good to talk to you. And uh, always enjoy spending some time here on our Thursdays just sharing the good news of the Help Care Clinic and explaining to people the benefits of, of membership. So I'm sure we continue that here today. Yeah, so we've been talking for you know, quite some time now about how people can save money on their lab tests, for example, through healthcare clinic membership. And and we decided, so we did a blog post uh, that's on our website right now called Saving Through Healthcare Clinic Membership Lab Tests, where we did, we created sort of a, uh, a composite patient, we'll call him Bob, uh, who had blood tests, you know, done elsewhere. And those those tests, the combined uh, cost of all those tests, there were about eight tests that were in the panel, um, was twelve hundred and sixty four dollars. Uh, and when you look at that, that you know our healthcare clinic membership for the full year at the full price for uh, for just a single person is fourteen ninety nine. Uh, so just with these, just this one panel of lab tests, um, a, a patient can save enough. Uh, essentially pay for the whole year's worth of, of uh, the membership, which includes a lot more services. Yeah, I think sometimes we sort of forget that, I mean, it's one thing you, we talk a lot about, the opportunity to come and spend time and have your e- exam and your visit with uh, Dr. Strobel, but when you get into having to run tests and things, those costs in general when it comes to the, the medical field, those add up very, very quickly. And so it doesn't take a whole lot to see the the benefit of membership. Absolutely, the the um, the, the thing that we can learn from lab tests um, is pretty significant. But because of the way lab tests are are priced in a normal insurance payment model, what happens is there's this huge disincentive to even order them. And so two things happen. Two big things that I can think of right now happen that, that uh, really are important. Uh, number one is that the, you, the patient doesn't get diagnosed because the tests aren't being done, and a lot of times the symptoms that they have are kind of nonspecific. So you need to do more detailed study to figure out, well, what are these symptoms due to or what could they be due to? So, so that decreases the diagnostic ability of, of the physician. But the other thing, and this is, I think, really important, it's actually even more important, and that is that when you do lab tests a little bit more broadly, the doctors begin to learn more about the disease. So we, we were taught in medical school about all this stuff, but like anything else school doesn't teach you how to actually do your job you do your job based on experience and 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 over time you learn stuff well one of the ways you do that is by learning about the diseases by doing the various diagnostic tests so there's so many things that by doing more lab tests i learn better about how to take care of the patient just because I'm the one learning. It's not just because I have more information. It's because I'm actually learning more about how these diseases work. And that's something that doctors that work in an insurance payment model just simply don't get. So they, they, I I don't want to say that they have shallow knowledge, but that's kind of what happens because they just don't get the experience of seeing how labs change over time because they just don't dare order them. It's really very discouraging. It's, it's in, a, in a way, having knowledge in a box, they, they know what they need to know when it comes to that, but to see it in the real world and maybe see through testing other ways that it is affecting the patient or the way it's indicating is probably where that right. extra knowledge comes from. And it's really, it's very gratifying to be able to look at somebody's tests and say, oh, I think I see what's going on. And then you can start to, to treat them more appropriately. And, uh, and it, it, 
is amazing sometimes what effect this has on people's lives, and they'll just say, I just haven't felt this good in 20 years. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, and that's one of the things that, you know, is really so special about the model that we have here is because patients don't have to pay for the tests, um, and because we're able to be part of a group purchasing organization to really get rock-bottom, low costs on the tests, we can just make it part of the membership. And so there really isn't any disincentive anywhere to doing the tests. Whereas in the regular insurance-based system, you know, people get their, you know, they, they say, well, my insurance covers preventive care, and it does. But the minute they do blood tests, well, that's diagnostic, and so that's going to count against the deductible. And then you're paying at that inflated price, as Dr. Scholl mentioned earlier, that the insurance companies kind of get worked into that system. And so it all ends up being a, just a powerful disincentive to people getting the kind of testing they need that would help the doctors be better and also would, you know, in their specific case, give them uh, the information to, to be able to make a diagnosis. Right. You know, the thing that, that uh, I mean, and we, we don't pay for, as part of the membership, we don't pay for every single test there is, you know, but if somebody needed but all the common ones, I mean, that's far more than the normal common ones that you would normally get. Those are just included in the membership. But, you know, even if somebody, you know, needed a test that was kind of outside of what we actually cover, that doesn't mean that we would, uh, that doesn't mean that we would have, uh, you know, a high cost to them. We would share our low cost with, mm-hmm. with the patient as well. Well, and, and just kind of to follow through on that, you're also not going to just test for testing's sake. You may do a test, and it may give you an indicator in saying, you know, we, we should probably do this and then proceed down that path to make sure. Yeah, that's right. We, you know, and, I, and I'm in charge of which tests we order. I don't, you know, I'm not a vending machine, but <laughs> yeah. we, we, I use them liberally. Right. Yeah, and that's the and that's the other point is that it's um, you know there are, you know Dr. Strobel says well we don't pay for every test but essentially so far we really have <laughs> as the way it's come down to it because there's been more than you know we originally said there were 45 of the most common tests that were included in the membership well we've actually done more than 60 and without charging for those but it's just based on what the patient needs and so we're not doing tests just saying oh well we cover 45 tests so we're going to do all 45 of those. Um, one of the tests of PSA, for instance, is really not useful for women, I don't think. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's not going to be helpful at all. Distinctly so, unhelpful. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, the, so the point is, I mean, that people can have that confidence that they don't have to be worried about, oh, if I go to the doctor, I'm going to get another big bill because it's part of the membership. It's included. Yeah. Well, and I like what I'm kind of hearing overall, uh, Lee, is when you talk about the test that while you have this base list, let's say 45, that if if it's indicated that we need to do this other test, that you're going to go out of your way to make sure that, A, yes, that test will be taken care of, but also you're not going to go out and try to make a profit off of that. You're going to get the test. You're going to do the lowest price you can possibly get because you're putting the patient first every time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, the basic way we've uh, formulated this is that we want the membership to pay for what it costs to take care of the patient and to, you know, to have good unhurried time with the with Dr. Strobel, with Stephanie Kimmis, our nurse practitioner, to really have a good experience there. And if there's stuff that's an unexpected expense, um, we want to just pass that along to the extent we need to uh, as a, a, a minimal markup as possible just to be able to make sure we cover the cost because mm-hmm. the real value we're asking people pay for is that unhurried care. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we are already out of time. I can't believe it today. Uh, once again, let's remind people how they can get more information about how this works and how they can become a member and take advantage of all that you offer. Well, we really encourage people to stop by and see us at 308 4th Avenue Northwest, which is just a block east of St. Augustine's. See it for yourself, what the experience is like. Uh, but they also can give us a call. It's 507-279-2345. Or if they go to healthcare.health, they can read this blog post and see those specifics on these uh, particular panels of tests that we've done. 
uh, and just how they can save money uh, through our health care clinic membership. And we should point out, too, that uh, our conversations are also posted there. So if somebody hears something they want more information on, it'll trigger them to give you a call, we hope. It'll be there this afternoon. All right. Well, yep. Very good. Fascinating information, as always. We appreciate your time. Have a fantastic week, and we look forward to talking to you again next Thursday. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, John. Blessings to you. All right. Thank you very much.